Hello guys, welcome to another new video of the series. Today is the third day. We are now in Baku and we will leave to Georgia tonight at 10 p.m. flight. Today we are going to explore a few places in Baku and around Baku. This is really going to be fantastic. I hope you will have fun. Let's explore. We have reached our first tourist place today, which is called Hyder Aliv Center, which is also called as Hyder Aliv Cultural Center, which is located in Baku, Azerbaijan. This is uh, named after uh, Hyder Aliv, who served as the first secretary of uh, Soviet Azerbaijan from 1969 to 1982, and also served as a president of Azerbaijan Republic from 1993 to 2003. This building started construction in 2007 and it got opened in uh, May 2012. This is predominantly known for cultural activities, uh, some musical shows, some other cultural shows. It also has a wonderful gallery hall and the museum inside. This uh, is really a mark or I can say a iconic building in the city of Baku. Let's go and watch, walk around and explore. Lots of cars around with the parking. Finally, we found some good parking space, which is pretty much walkable to the cultural center. Let's park our car, just go around and see, take some pictures. Let's go inside and explore the museum, the hall and the gallery hall, etc. It seems there is a museum and some exhibition halls there. It looks like there is a lot of gallery, lots of options to explore about the local culture and the history of Azerbaijan. It's always good to know about the culture, the history of a place when you're visiting there. So let's go buy the tickets and get inside and see what's in there. We got the tickets. So the entrance is on the other side, that's what they say. So let's uh, move a little out, walk a bit and uh, go to the main entrance where we get into the exhibition and the museum. I hope it will be really, really good. I'm really excited.
we are done with Hyder Ali Center. It has been a wonderful experience. The gallery is so beautiful. The museum is so wonderful. It was almost two, two and a half hours of visit there, but I could not uh, put all the two, two and a half hours of footage because it, the video will be too long. So I cut it short to uh, just a few minutes. Now we have reached a new place called Yanadag, which is also called as the Burning Mountain, or they also call it Fire Mountain. So let's buy some tickets and get inside and experience the beauty. Uh, to just give you a brief of what this is all about, Yanadag is a natural gas fire which blazes continuously on a hillside. This is located near Baku in Absharon district of uh, Azerbaijan. The country Azerbaijan itself is called as uh, the land of fire. So this place has a very good significance to the country's history. And uh, people say the fire in Yanardak never extinguishes. The reason offered for the fire is the result of uh, hydrocarbon gases emanating from the below Earth's surface. There are some uh, ATA bikes where uh, people take for rent and go around on the hillside around the Inadag mountain to experience different things and uh, view from the top. There are some historical uh, you know, significances here of the settlements, the earlier settlements or the historic settlements that we call the tools that they have used and uh, the, you know, the civilization they had. Let's go uh, around and have a look. 13th century. And uh, this is our symbols of uh, the Russians, fire and the sun, and Arabic gravestone, and another millstone here. This is a small water basin, a uh, millstone, and uh, this is a pestle. So let's walk a bit to the top of the mountain, uh, to the uphill, and see the view from there, the, the view of the city, the view of the Apshar all around. We're done with Yanardag, so we are proceeding to the next destinations, but that will be in the second part of the day three of our South Coca series. So looking forward to explore more and show you more content. So stay connected and uh, thank you very much for watching.